For first-time visitors, Dubai can be a breathtaking spectacle, a city that defies expectations. Dubai can be a real eye-opener for first-time visitors, and the sheer scale of modernity and wealth it has can be both perplexing and surprising at the same time. And yet, despite being one of the richest cities in the world, it seems it never runs out of features that shock most people. From a rapid development to zero taxes, here are 20 things you didn't know about Dubai. Number 20. Dubai was unlivable 20 years ago. Did you know that 20 years ago, Dubai was almost like a different planet compared to what it is today? Back in the day, Dubai was not exactly what you'd call livable by today's standards. Decades ago, this city was nothing but vast stretches of desert, a harsh climate, and limited infrastructure. It was hard to imagine it becoming one of the world's most futuristic cities. Now, fast forward to the present and, well, voila! Dubai has morphed into this dazzling urban oasis. Skyscrapers like the Burj Khalifa, which, by the way, is so tall it might as well have its own weather system, have shot up from the sands. The city now boasts an infrastructure that would make any country green with envy. The rapid development also brought a cultural and economic boom. Dubai has become a melting pot of cultures, a global business hub, and a playground for the world's rich and famous. Originally a small fishing settlement, Dubai's journey began with the discovery of oil in the 1960s. However, oil reserves were limited, prompting the rulers to diversify the economy. And we'll talk more about this later. Now just imagine how incredible this city is. From a small fishing settlement to a leading economic hub not only in Asia, but across the globe. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Shopaholic Paradise do you like shopping? If you do, well, Dubai might be the best city to visit. After all, it's the location of the biggest mall in the world. Spanning an impressive 12 million square feet, the Dubai Mall isn't just a shopping center. It's an entire world of retail and entertainment. With over 1,200 stores, it caters to every imaginable shopping preference. Whether you're searching for high-end designer boutiques or local artisan products, this mall has it all. But the Dubai Mall is more than just a place for shopping. It's a hub of diverse attractions. Have you ever imagined an aquarium in a mall? The Dubai Mall hosts a gigantic aquarium with thousands of aquatic animals, including sharks and rays. And if that's not enough, there's also an Olympic-sized ice rink, a massive indoor waterfall, and a dedicated entertainment zone for kids. For those who love fashion, the mall is a hotspot for international fashion events and shows often featuring renowned global brands and designers. It's not just a shopping experience, it's a peek into the latest fashion trends from around the world. Let's not forget the food. With over 200 dining options, ranging from gourmet restaurants to casual cafes, the cultural journey here is diverse as the shopping. But of course, there's a sad reality to this. You can't really enjoy most of these without money, right? But hey, window shopping in this massive mall must really be therapeutic. Number 18. World's Largest Artificial Islands There's a reason why Dubai's progress is rapid. After all, creating artificial islands is something basic for them. These feats of engineering and imagination have reshaped the coastline of Dubai and the world's view of what's possible in land reclamation and island building. The most famous are the Palm Islands, comprising Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebel Ali, and Palm Dera. Palm Jumeirah often simply called the palm, is particularly notable. Shaped like a giant palm tree when viewed from above, it stretches into the Persian Gulf, adding a significant amount of coastline to Dubai. This island alone is a massive undertaking, even visible from space. The Palm Jumeirah hosts some of the most luxurious hotels and resorts in the world, including the iconic Atlantis, the palm. It's also a residential area with villas and apartments offering beachfront views that were once impossible in Dubai. Another ambitious project is The World, an archipelago of 300 small islands collectively resembling a world map. This development takes the concept of luxury to a new level, offering private island retreats for the ultra-rich. Number 17. Previously Tax-Free Did you know that until recently, Dubai was like a financial oasis in the desert for individuals and businesses? Two words. No taxes. That's right. For the longest time, Dubai, a jewel in the UAE's crown, had no personal income tax. Imagine that, earning and not having to part with a chunk of it to the taxman. 
This policy was one of the many lures that drew people from all corners of the globe to this bustling city. But if you're trying to move here because of this fact, well, bad news. The UAE government decided to shake things up in 2023. They introduced corporate taxes. This new tax law, which started on June 1, 2023, puts a 9% tax on business profits over 102,000 US dollars. And guess what? For profits under that amount, the tax rate is a cool 0%. It's a balancing act. On the one hand, it aligns with global tax practices, and on the other, it keeps the charm that made Dubai an economic hotspot. While businesses are adjusting to this new norm, individuals can breathe easy. Yes, you heard that right. There's still no personal income tax. Number 16. Abandon Luxury Cars As one of the wealthiest cities in the entire world, perhaps it's not surprising to see high-end cars like Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and Bentleys on the streets, but it might be surprising to see them covered in dust and dirt, seemingly abandoned in parking lots and by the roadside. But why is this happening in a place where luxury is practically everywhere? Well, you see, many expats come to Dubai for work, and when they leave, sometimes their cars are left behind. <laughs> yep, I can only imagine having that privilege. But there's a deeper story here. Now, if you're thinking about trying to come here to tamper with or destroy some of these cars, well, let me tell you that the government generally doesn't permit it. So that car emblem collecting dust can't be touched. Number 15. Zero Debt Policy In many countries, falling into debt can be a cause for concern, but it doesn't necessarily lead to dire legal consequences. This means you can accumulate debt and still avoid ending up behind bars. But in Dubai, it's quite different. Dubai operates under a zero-tolerance policy for unpaid debts. This isn't just about stern reminders or a ding to your credit score. In Dubai, failing to repay debt can have serious legal repercussions. This hardline stance on debt profoundly impacts how people handle their finances in Dubai. For expats and locals, the risk of legal action for unpaid debts looms large. Now let's get back to the abandoned cars in Dubai. Some individuals, when faced with insurmountable debt and the looming threat of legal action, make a drastic decision. They leave everything behind, including their prized possessions like high-end cars. It's a last resort escape plan from a seemingly inescapable solution. This shows that financial literacy is critical wherever you are, but perhaps more so if you're in Dubai. It's not just a matter of credit score, but a matter of freedom here. Number 14. Gold ATMs Have you ever strolled down the street thinking, I could really use some gold right now? Well, I guess people in Dubai have thought about this at some point because how else can you explain the presence of gold ATMs in this city? Yes, you heard me. Here, there are ATMs that dispense gold. Imagine walking up to an ATM and with a few taps, walking away with a 24 karat gold bar. Located in high-end hotels and shopping centers, these machines cater to those who want their wealth in the palm of their hands, literally. Whether you're a tourist looking for a unique souvenir or a local indulging in a bit of luxury, these ATMs offer a quick way to buy gold. The gold dispensed by these ATMs come in various forms and sizes accommodating different budgets and preferences. And don't worry about the quality. The gold is pure, with a certificate of authenticity to back it up. So is this feature something that you'd like to see in other places in the world? Well, I highly doubt it'd be viable. After all, a machine filled with gold just attracts robbers and criminals. But you see, that's not really a problem in this city. Number 13. Low Crime Rate In many cities across the globe, Locals and visitors often have to be cautious, especially at night. But in Dubai, it's quite different. Here, walking down the street at any hour feels as safe as browsing through a mall during the day. The city's stringent laws and effective law enforcement play a pivotal role in maintaining this sense of security. There's a culture of respect and adherence to rules that permeates its society. In Dubai, there's a mutual understanding that safety and peace are paramount. And this is reflected in the behavior of both the locals and expatriates. Dubai safety is one of the most appealing features, especially for families and businesses. It's a place where you can focus on living your life or growing your enterprise without the looming worry of security issues. This peace of mind is, again, just one of the many reasons why people from all over the world are drawn to Dubai. Number 12. There are more foreigners than locals. It's hard to believe, but there are more foreigners than locals in this city. In fact, 
Locals here make up only about 15% of the population. The rest? It's a bustling mix of expatriates, who make up a whopping 85% of the people. This city is a melting pot like no other. With a massive 71% of its population hailing from Asia, Dubai is a slice of the Asian continent in the Middle East. The Indian community leads the pack, representing over half of this percentage. But that's not all. The city also hosts a sizable number of people from the Philippines, Bangladesh, and even Somalia. There's also a considerable number of British expats in the city. The predominance of expatriates in Dubai shows its appeal as a destination for professionals seeking opportunities in a thriving and dynamic environment. Number 11. Different Weekend Did you ever imagine a weekend starting on Thursday? Well, in Dubai, that used to be the norm. Until 2006, the UAE's weekend kicked off Thursday and wrapped up on Friday. You see, Friday has always held religious significance in the Islamic world being the day for communal prayers. So having Friday off was a no-brainer. But then, Dubai decided to have another day off and set Thursday as an additional weekend. Fast forward to 2006, and Dubai decided to change things up again, this time aligning more with the rest of us. Saturday replaced Thursdays. So instead of Thursday and Friday, the weekends became Fridays and Saturdays. For everything, schools, federal ministries, government departments, and many establishments. This has a hidden implication. It was a strategic move to boost business, the stock market, and foreign trade by reducing the gap between the UAE's weekend and that of the rest of the world. It was a move that made sense, especially for a city rapidly growing into a global business hub. This change was particularly beneficial for international communication and trade, making it easier for Dubai to sync up with a global market pulse. Number 10. Robot Camel Racers Guess what's racing through the deserts of Dubai? Steered by none other than robots. Camel racing, a tradition in the Middle East dating back to the 7th century, underwent a futuristic makeover in Dubai. In 2002, the UAE made a significant change by outlawing human jockeys in camel races. Picture a metal A-frame, a cordless power drill attached to a whip, which doesn't harm the animal, a small mannequin head, and racing silks for decoration. Operated via remote control, sometimes using repurposed car alarm remotes, these robots have brought a quirky yet innovative twist to the traditional sport. During races, it's a spectacle unlike any other. Camel owners drive along the track in their SUVs, steering their robotic jockey from a distance. Some racing sites even have special lanes for these vehicles. And when is all this high-tech action happening? The camel racing season runs from September to April, with several tracks dotted across the country. So if you're interested, you might want to book your flight around these months. Number 9. The Longest Automated Metro Ready for a ride into the future? Well, that's what it feels like to ride Dubai's Metro, a futuristic mode of transportation. Opened in 2009, the Dubai Metro is known as the world's longest fully automated metro network, stretching over a whopping 55.7 miles with 49 stations to hop on and off. This train system is also so advanced that it doesn't need a driver. The absence of human drivers means fewer chances of error, making your journey smoother and more reliable. Or at least, that's usually the case. Split into two lanes, the red line and the green line, it covers significant parts of the city. The red line runs from Rashidia to Jebel Ali, and the green line from Medisalat to Dubai Creek. These lines cross paths at Union Square and Burjaman, making transfers a breeze. Plus, the elevated tracks offer breathtaking panoramic views of Dubai's skyline that makes the entire commute pleasing. By reducing the number of cars on the road, the Dubai Metro contributes to better air quality and eases the infamous Dubai traffic. Now this is a pretty smart move, right? After all, public transportation is usually one of the worst qualities a city has. But well, Dubai comes out on top in this matter as well. Number 8. Largest Flower Garden in the World Maintaining a flower garden right in the middle of the desert is a challenging feat, but Dubai makes it possible. Dubai Miracle Garden is known as the world's largest flower garden by total blooms. Opened in 2013, the Dubai Miracle Garden spans 19 hectares in an area formerly known as Dubai Land, south of Al Barsha. It's a mesmerizing space where imagination blooms alongside 150 million flowers of 120 different species. This garden offers visitors a pleasurable walk with attractions like the floral A380 Emirates airplane, 
and Disney Avenue, where your favorite characters come to life in giant floral arrangements. Just imagine 60-foot-tall figures of your favorite characters made of over 100,000 flowers and weighing around 30 tons. These are the attractions you'll see in this grand garden. Dubai seems to consistently approach endeavors with a focus on luxury and grandeur. Number 7. You get paid to lose weight in Dubai. Don't have enough motivation to lose some pounds? Well, how does golden cash sound to you? It's pretty unbelievable, but in Dubai, losing weight can literally pay off. The UAE's largest weight loss challenge, organized by Rack Hospital in association with the Ministry of Health and Prevention, is among the most unbelievable projects in the world. It's a full-blown contest with cash prizes and a whole lot more at stake for shedding that extra weight. This challenge, divided into physical, virtual, and corporate challenges, offers a whopping 50,000 dirham in cash prizes for the quote-unquote biggest losers. In today's conversion, that's a little over 13,600 US dollars. Think about it, getting healthier and heavier in your wallet at the same time. In the physical category, participants can earn 100 up to 300 dirhams for every kilogram lost, depending on their placement. And it's not just about money. The top winners in the virtual category get to enjoy a range of prizes such as staycations, health packages, dining vouchers, and gym memberships. Now that's an entire load of motivation. The challenge is part of a broader initiative to combat obesity, which the World Health Organization has declared a disease. By incentivizing weight loss, Dubai isn't just hosting a contest, it's spearheading a transformative journey for its residents. The goal? To decrease the burden of chronic and lifestyle diseases by encouraging healthier living practices. So in Dubai, stepping on the scale could be the first step not just towards a healthier you, but also towards some exciting rewards. Number 6. Indoor Ski Who would have thought you could have hit the slopes in the middle of a desert? Ski Dubai, the colossal indoor ski facility, makes this surreal dream a chilly reality in the heart of Dubai. Imagine gliding down snowy slopes while the desert sun blazes outside. Nestled in the sprawling Mall of the Emirates, Ski Dubai stretches over 22,500 square meters, featuring a 60-meter vertical drop and five distinct slopes, including the world's first indoor black run. This ski dome is a winter wonderland complete with fresh artificial snow created by specialized snow cannons. It's a skiing area as vast as three football fields, where up to 1,500 snow enthusiasts can revel in the frosty fun at any given time. But wait, there's more to this frosty adventure. Ski Dubai is an entire winter playground. You can indulge in various activities, from snow tubing down specially designed lanes, to exploring a snow park and racing down a toboggan run. For beginners, for those keen on improving their skills, there are top-notch ski lessons by professional instructors. And for a touch of the whimsical, you can even meet and interact with adorable penguins within this snowy domain. Maintaining a constant chilly temperature of around 1 degree Celsius, Ski Dubai starkly contrasts the scorching desert heat. With winter clothing and all necessary equipment included in the ticket price, visitors can comfortably embrace the wintry atmosphere. This indoor ski resort isn't just a leisure spot, it's a symbol of Dubai's ambition and its penchant for defying norms. It's a testament to the city's ability to create extraordinary experiences, transforming the impossible into reality and bringing a slice of the alpine experience to the Arabian desert. Number 5. The Tallest Building in the World Imagine a skyscraper so tall, it's like reaching for the stars. That's the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, a marvel of modern engineering and architectural genius. Previously known as the Burj Dubai before its inauguration, this towering structure holds the title of the world's tallest building. Standing at a staggering height of 2,722 feet, the journey of the Burj Khalifa began on January 12, 2004, with its construction marking a new era in Dubai's history. The primary structure, a blend of reinforced concrete and structural steel, some of which came from the former East German Parliament building, was completed in five years by October 2009. The building officially opened its doors on January 4, 2010, as a centerpiece of the two-kilometer-square downtown Dubai development near Sheikh Zayed Road, Dubai Central Business District. You see, the Burj Khalifa was a strategic move by the Dubai government to shift from an oil-based economy to one focused on services and tourism. It was envisioned to be a beacon of international recognition and investment, a sensational addition to the Dubai skyline that would put the city firmly on the global map. 
The tower was named in honor of the ruler of Abu Dhabi, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan, who along with the UAE government supported Dubai financially during its economic crisis in the late 2000s. This entire building cost a staggering 1.5 billion US dollars to be finished. Well, with that cost, I think it deserves all the praise and attention it's getting. Number 4. No Address System It's hard to believe, but Dubai didn't have an address system until recently. Yep, delivering packages here used to be a nightmare. For the longest time, this gleaming city operated without a traditional address system. Instead, deliveries and mail navigated through landmarks, business names, or descriptions like Third Villa Past the Big Mosque. In this intriguing system, your workplace often doubles as your mailbox. For many, especially expatriates, mail was delivered to their employer's address, usually a P.O. box at a local Emirates post office. The system was surprisingly efficient. Mail would be collected by someone in the organization and then sorted, either delivered right to your desk or placed in a personal post box or pigeonhole. Despite the potential for chaos, this method proved reliable, with few reports of lost or misplaced letters. However, as Dubai continued to evolve and modernize, so did its postal system. Emirates Post Group, or M-Post, introduced a more personalized pickup and delivery system. This new initiative allowed for a range of mail delivery options, including thrice-weekly deliveries to registered home addresses, courier services, insurance for parcels, and mail tracking. While this modernized system offers enhanced convenience and security, it also comes with its costs, charged annually. Despite these advancements, the peculiarities of the former system sometimes led to confusion, especially due to naming conventions. In Arabic culture, the second name is usually the father's name, so a person might be addressed or referred to differently than in Western cultures. This could lead to mix-ups in mail sorting, where letters addressed using only the first and second names might not reach the intended recipient. Well, I guess even their problems are quite unconventional. Number 3. The Crane Capital of the World Dubai, often synonymous with architectural grandeur and rapid development, once held an astonishing title, the crane capital of the world. Due to its peak development phase, it's estimated that a staggering 20 to 25% of the world's cranes were operating in Dubai. Can you imagine the sheer size of the workforce during that time? From the sprawling Palm Islands to the towering Burj Khalifa, Dubai skyline was reshaped in a relatively short time frame. Using cranes was pivotal in constructing these iconic structures, each symbolizing Dubai's vision and economic might. This period of intense construction was more than just about building high-rises. It was a statement of Dubai's intent to become a global hub for finance, tourism, and luxury living. While the city's reliance on cranes had since normalized, the legacy of that era remains etched in its skyline a tangible reminder of a period when Dubai was reshaping not just its landscape, but also its identity on the world stage. Number 2. Oil You might think that Dubai's dazzling skyscrapers and luxury lifestyle are funded solely by oil wealth, right? Well, here's a surprising fact. Oil is not the main thing behind Dubai's success. Sure, in the early days, the discovery of oil in the 1960s gave Dubai's economy a boost. But unlike its neighbor Abu Dhabi, which has vast oil reserves. Dubai's oil fields were more modest. This scarcity turned out to be a blessing in disguise, pushing the city to diversify its economy. Fast forward to today, and Dubai's economy is a vibrant mix of tourism, real estate, aviation, and financial services. Oil? It accounts for less than 1% of its GDP. This city didn't just sit on its oil barrels. It hustled and transformed into a global hub, attracting millions of tourists and businesses every year. And now it's time for today's topic. It's over. Here's why Dubai is a bubble about to collapse. From the fact that Dubai was unlivable just 20 years ago, and that it's among the wealthiest cities in the world today, you can tell how rapidly it's developing. And while this might seem great, well, some believe it'll also lead to its downfall. The IMF once warned its property market might burst due to rapid buying and selling for a quick profit. Dubai tightened rules to prevent this. In 2023, Dubai's economy is growing, but at a slower pace. High living costs and loan rates are part of the reason. Dubai's still shining, but slowing down a bit. The economy's growing, but not as fast as before. Again, this might seem bad, but on the contrary, this just might help prevent this city's impending collapse. Even so, many are waiting for the bubble to burst.
Number 1. Exotic Pets Did you know that not too long ago, you could spot a cheetah chilling in the passenger seat of a Lamborghini in Dubai? That's right, owning exotic pets like lions, tigers, and cheetahs was once a flashy trend among the ultra-wealthy in this city. It was like something straight out of a movie. Imagine driving next to a car, and instead of a dog, you see a lion cub sticking its head out the window. Big cats weren't the only exotic animals you'd see as pets. Parrots, snakes, lizards, and sugar gliders were among the most popular with exotic owners. But as years passed, the city made some changes. In 2017, Dubai city officials said no to this wild practice. A strict law was put in place banning the private ownership of exotic animals. If you're caught with a tiger in your backyard now, you're looking at heavy fines or even jail time. This move wasn't just about keeping the public safe, though a loose cheetah in a city is no joke. It was about animal welfare, too. Despite being kept as pets, they weren't fully domesticated. This lack of domestication resulted in unexpected health issues and wild reactions, posing potential dangers for animals and uninformed owners. These concerns, along with the evident dangers, played a significant role in the decision to implement the ban. So while you won't see any more big cats riding shotgun in supercars, this change shows Dubai's evolving stance on responsible luxury and animal care. So which of these things surprised you the most? I haven't had the chance to visit the UAE yet, but Dubai is undoubtedly one of my must-see cities. What about you? Anything in this city that piqued your interest? And if you've been here before, feel free to share your experience in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.